It's literally so soft, it's almost like velvety or silk maybe. No, not silk. Satin, no. Suede. That's what I'm thinking of. Good morning, family. Welcome back to my channel. It is, I am just getting over a cold. I'm about four days out of it, and right now my body is just like getting rid of all the extra mucus and like ickiness. So I'm sorry if you can hear it in my voice. I'm gonna sniff, I'm gonna cough. It just is what it is. Today, I am going um, shopping. I think it's important to go shopping every once in a while because you grow a lot of things with your body, with your mental you know, state, with your style, with your evolution. So I haven't gone shopping in a long time and I'm getting ready to leave the country for a month. So I'm gonna go shopping and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got and the plan for everything and just really kind of touch base with you on my whole, my whole project working lead trip. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys know me in real life or have been following me on the internet, then you are well aware of what Project War Healing is. I'm just really excited to share with you guys the process. I haven't been able to take you really with me to show you everything that we've done because this project was like three quarters of the way done when I started my YouTube channel. Now it's just about going, you know, preparing to go and then going. So I'm going to try and be as detailed and um, document everything as I can from this moment until the trip, during the trip, not only for me to like look back on, but just that way you guys can be a part of what's happening too. Me and the sisters are departing just over a week and I don't have any um, clothes really. I mean, a lot of the clothes that I have in my wardrobe are truthfully from like high school in my really younger days. My body was different, my style was different, you know, the vibe I wanted to project and wear was different. And so I really, I decided that it was time for me to do a fall slash winter shopping haul for myself, not only for this trip, but just for the rest of the year because I deserve it. Now, I do like to do most of my shopping at Goodwill. So I'm gonna show you what I have. The clothes on the chairs and stuff around me. This is the dining room. We don't eat in the dining room. So this is kind of where we all lay our shit out to dry. The stuff we don't want in the dryer. So I'm just gonna. This is what I'm bringing, are you? Um, bases. So, shirt like this. I wish you could feel it through the phone. It's li literally so soft, it's almost like velvety or silk maybe. No, not silk. Sad, no. Suede, that's what I'm thinking of. Suede, velvety-ish, cute. I like the colors on it. I like to have layers. So when I go shopping, I typically buy um, thin or tank toppy shirts that I can put warmer layers on top of so that way I can have my cute bohemian layer style that I like to go with. And then that way when summer rolls around, all the shirts that I've been wearing all winter, I can also wear all summer because they're just t-shirts and tank tops. Um, this one, another just cute little shirt, it says not phased with the moons on it. I was like, girl, you know I'm phased. That one. I really like burgundies and reds. I see with this with this haul. Um, tank top, crop top. I like this one because it's like thick and it's stretchy. And when you, even when it stretches, it stays thick. So when I tried it on, I'm not wearing a bra today. I tried it on in the dressing room. You couldn't even tell that I had nipples. And that's what you want with these kind of shirts. So I had to get that one. Um, this one says I'm learning to be free, and it has cute little frills on the bottom of it really like the color. I'm like, I really like the color in my room. I really do. Just eagle, power eagle, with some cuts in the back, which I really like. I probably would have done that to the shirt anyway if it didn't already come that way. And then my last shirt base is like a little earthy, bustier style top. Um, some people say lingerie. I just think it's fucking cute. <laughs> I got this little white dress which I really liked. It goes down probably to about six inches above my knee. Got this skirt. It's a floor length uh, maxi style skirt, except for it's got slits in both the legs, which I really like that. Um, I have big hips, so when I have a skirt that's tight all the way down, I just feel like a pair. 
so when my legs can peek through, it helps my self-confidence a little bit with that. I like my legs showing. I got this scarf because I really like the pattern on it. Thought I'd add that to the collection. And then the rest of what I got is basically a long, um, warm layers that I can throw over all the stuff that I got. Create different outfits and vibes, but also stay warm. So this is the first one. Um, it's got a hood. It's really long. You know, when I put it on, it goes down to my, to my legs. Which is nice. I like that. This black one, which I really like. It's Forever 21 brand, which is like my sister's favorite brand in the whole world. And I know they have really good quality stuff. Um, and this one's really long and it's tight and it's like super soft. And it goes down like all the way to my knees and I love that. I don't know why. You know, actually, I do know why. Because my legs are like five miles long and my torso is like not. So when I have long ass legs and like a crop top on, if I put a long shirt over it, to me it's like, yeah, go get proportional. I got a red one, same gist. And then this one I was so fucking excited about because it has a hood. Look. I'm hooded. This amazing poncho. And I just like, hello. Do you even like? Do you even fashion? So that was my Goodwill haul. I only need like two pair of jeans and I'm good to go. I actually don't own any jeans right now. The one pair of jeans I had were from high school, believe it or not. And um and they finally ripped so much in the lake, I just turned them into shorts. I don't need your health insurance. Anyway, those jeans had to get turned into shorts. So I don't have any jeans right now. And I need some jeans, especially to work in. So I need at least two pair. And then I'm good. This is pretty much everything I'm gonna pack. It's all I need. Throw in an extra two pair of jeans in there. I've got, you know, a washer and dryer to do laundry and stuff while we're out there. So I have no need to bring a whole bunch of clothes as long as I know that I can like mix match outfits depending on my mood. Today I ordered a new um, shampoo conditioner soap bar, which um, it doesn't come in any packaging, which is nice. I can use it in the shower just like a bar of soap even on the rest of my body and I don't have to worry about TSA or anything weird in customs. A pair of sneakers, a pair of, you know, my Burke sandals. Um, a plug adapter for the Euro and Middle Eastern plugs. And then just my electronics. So I'm packing light. My goal is to try and keep everything in one duffel bag so I can just keep it with me. Ideally, I don't want to check any baggage. I don't trust, I don't, I don't, it freaks me out. I've never, I've never flown internationally before. So like my fear is getting there and then being like, oh, sorry, your baggage accidentally got on a plane to some other fucking country across the world. I don't want that. I'm gonna do my best to keep everything um, with me. And Megan graciously gave me one of her old duffel bags, shout out Megan, that has a whole bunch of pockets around it and inside of it and whatnot. So I'm really confident that I'm gonna be able to make that work. And I just wanna let you know, every Wednesdays at Goodwill, um, there's a sale. Today, orange tags were 50%, which was like almost half of everything I picked out. So that was cool. And looking at the receipt here, all together I spent $46.58. Everything except for two items, and it was two of the, the big thick sweaters, which is understandable, were under $4. So I didn't spend more than $4 on anything except for two of the sweaters. But let me just tell you, like, okay, this bathing suit, full price, $20 a piece. Which means to buy a bathing suit, that's $40. I just spent $46 and we're good to go. And um, on the next video, I'm sure I'm gonna start throwing shit into bags. So you'll be able to, to, to hang out with us throughout the whole packing process. Which I'm just really excited about, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I totally forgot to film an outro to this until I was like all the way to the very end of editing and going, 
where's my conclusion? So that's what this is. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for sticking around. This was really an off the cuff vlog. I had no intentions of like making this into a YouTube video, which is why it was kind of just me in this room with you. Um, but I kind of felt like it was important to bring you along on this side of the project because all across my social media, everything is focused on what we're doing for the humanitarian aspect of it with the refugees and whatnot, but I haven't really shared what it's like behind the scenes for me to prepare for this kind of a trip. And to be truthful, I kind of forgot that I need to prepare for myself to go with all of these logistics beyond just making sure the camp is set, the tickets are set, the donations are set, like all of that. So um, I've got just over a week to get everything together and this was really the first step. And so I'm gonna take you along that whole process, the whole behind the scenes. Honestly, when I started this YouTube channel, I didn't really know what it was gonna be. I still had kind of had my doubts, like I want to keep it sort of themed towards this or, you know, make sure that I'm always sharing the healthy side or the spiritual side and, you know, I'm just not going to do that. I, I really fucking suck at not being authentic. So this channel is going to kind of turn into my video diary. If you're interested in what's going on in my heart and life at the moment, then, you know, hit subscribe because that's pretty much what this is going to be. I'm really going to try and post more frequently, even if it's just you and me hanging out while I work. You know, it's just, we, it's just what's going to happen, so.